So it's the day before the campfire meetup and um, I have been cleaning the RV and I really do want to move these beds. The problem is I have that Wi-Fi ranger there. So, and I don't care. I mean, I'm not going to use it on this trip because we're going to a campsite and there's no Wi-Fi anywhere around that I can get. So I'm going to, I already started as you can see. I've already started taking out the containers that I put in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and take the divider out. And then I'm going to move the beds and see if it works. It might not even work um, the way that I'm thinking of doing it. I'm actually thinking of doing horizontally, making the beds go this way. So I have I can put the litter box in the back. And then I'll put a tension rod between the two cabinets and have a curtain there for the litter box. And any storage that I want to have back there. So we'll see how that goes. First, Christian's bed is off. That's what it looks like without the bed. So I'm going to play around with this mattress and see what's the best way that I can get it. But first, I'm going to vacuum underneath all of that dirt that's down there. that's there is a piece of wood that's covered in fabric but it's, it makes for a good way to hang these uh, containers I have from Ikea. I can hang them there with my cameras and my stuff so I do like that a lot. I want you to see what it's like working in an RV with a small space is what it looks like in the RV right now. There's no space for anything. I still have to put this mattress, oh my gosh. I don't know where I'm gonna step around here. I'm going to clean that side now and then I'm going to see if the two mattresses are gonna fit in here like this. So. so the bed fits, as you can see, in this little corner where the litter box was here. The litter box was there, I got the bed, so now I'm gonna put the other bed, then I can have it crossed ways like that, and then I can put a curtain back there. So by having the bed this way, I'm able to sit up closer here to the bed, have storage in the back. I'm going to put the other mattress there because if Muffin or the cat wants to sleep back there, it's fine. But I am going to hang a curtain from there to there, covering up all the storage that I have. I think this is going to be a lot better for me uh, to get in and out of the bed at night and to go to the bathroom too. It's going to be a lot better. So the nice thing about having the bed like this is I have the option to sleep with my head on this pillow on this near this window or I have the option to sleep with my head on that window depending on where I am so it's pretty cool. The, the only thing I don't like is I don't have a lot of space to open that cabinet so that's a big problem. Um, Hmm. I might have to flip like to get stuff up I might have to move the mattress so still trying to figure it out I don't really need a mattress this big I'm just testing this out for now and I don't want to get rid of the mattress because Christian's coming back so for the meetup I'm going to leave it like this because it's a bigger bed and it's just it's nice that I'm going to be able to like bring my um my goose down comforter with me and get all snuggly underneath that so I'm excited about that and um, I don't know, it's just, it's just different. So I really like it like this. For now, I like it like this, but we'll see what happens. 
it's just nice that I can just like sleep and have all this space up here. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like feels so good. And the other nice thing is when I sit up, I have the full length here that I can sit up over here. There's that curve there. So when I try to sit up there with my head against the headboard, um, I always have to crouch down a little bit more than I want because of that that curve that's there my head hits first but here it's so much higher on this side so I'll be I actually tried it already and I'm able to sit up here so that's pretty nice just want to get ready to go on this thing now look what's going on he's back he's back I'll go see what the hell's going on I don't know how this go got in here it's by himself too he came from that way over there Come on, let's go see how we can get you back. You know, I know you didn't come this way because I closed the gate, huh? How'd you come in? Now you don't remember how? Let's go find out how. Probably went through those bushes there. You probably opened the hole there too. Yeah. You must know where to go back. You just don't feel like it. What's over here? Let's see. Is this where you came in through? Where's the hole? I don't see a hole here. I see poop. Well, let's go to the other side. Come on. Let's go find your place the other way. Come on. Let's go this way. Is that where you came in? Well, I don't know how you got through there. That's not broken. There's no hole there. Nope, what's not through here? That's for sure. What are we gonna do? I can't climb you over the fence. All right, let's go look and see if there's another spot. Come on, come on, Mr. Goat. Mr. Goat. Here, Mr. Goat. Come here. Come on, follow me. I bet you it's over here. Was it around here? Probably around here. Coming? Okay, well, so where do you think you belong? How'd you get? Come here, Mr. Goat. Well, there's no one home, and I can't find the opening for the hall. So, I think I'm gonna have to go for the rest of the day. Okay, I just walked back. I couldn't, the goat got under the gate. I guess their gate, that goat can get under the gate. He didn't, couldn't get back. And somehow he found the chicken feed and he started eating the chicken feed. And I tried getting him out and fighting with the goat to get out and it just didn't work. So as long as he's over there, um, I might go back there later and let them know the goat is getting out from under their fence so that they can do something about okay, it. Okay guys, that's my bedroom. Oh, I just wanna show you, this is where I sleep now in my fairy princess bedroom. It's a little bit of a mess because I had a nap today, so. Back there is all my storage. That's where I keep the litter box now. I'll show it to you in the daytime. And Missy, I think it's back there behind the pillows hiding. Yep. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share it, and please subscribe. Follow us on social media.